This is Twit. The long rumored AirPods Max came out. Um, but before I tell you all the features, <laughs> cut to the <laughs> bottom line $549. Whoa. That yeah. seems a and lot. That's the cheapest you can get on that's there. A lot of, that's yeah. a lot of money. That's a lot. Yes, yes, Merlin. That's a lot of money. It seems expensive. Wow. Is, how much are the Bose Quiet Comforts? Because that's what they're going up against, right? They're all between three. They're all like 300, 350. The Sony's. Um, yeah, the Sony's. Are, there are headphones that are more expensive than this. Um, like there, you can spend a ludicrous amount of money on audio. Oh. You can you can buy million dollar setups and they'll offer yeah. to sell you accessories. I'll be the last but person to criticize people, expensive headphones. I have a pair of very expensive hi-fi man headphones that are great because instead of buying a very, very fancy stereo, if you get really, really good headphones and a good input, yeah. you can get great sound. And so these hi-fi men, which are magnetic planar technology, sound great, but that's not what these are. Most, and most people don't know those. Like the biggest issue for me with this is most people have no idea that those headphones exist. For most people, the high-end are like the Sonys and the Bose. And for Apple, mm -hmm. it, Apple they look at as a luxury, an affordable luxury brand. And then when Apple only introduces the high-end, like if they only introduce the Mac Pro and there's no Mac Mini, or they only have an iPhone XS and it's not the iPhone 11, you, you feel like that, like that compact has been broken and they're only giving you the luxury and you want them and you can't afford them and you get really angry really fast. Scooter X says, no, come on, guys. It's simple. Buy a Mac Pro and a, a Pro Display XDR on your Apple card and the cash back, you could buy the headphones. Free. I mean, they're computationally yeah. like they have a bunch of technology inside them that is expensive, but people aren't used to paying for the accelerometer and the gyroscope and the eight different microphones and the there's two H1 Apple Silicon 10 core audio processors. Nobody who buys headphones minute. is used each to cup, for that but that's each cup has its own 10 core processor, uh, its own 10 core system and package, yeah. like, an, like an Apple Watch. <laughs> see that that's see that's the problem that Apple's up against. Nobody nobody is. I think the HomePod really proved that nobody is yes. impressed with all the stuff you put into the press release. All they care about is maybe you put a thousand dollars worth of incredible technology into this. If it only sounds eight dollars more expensive than something that costs half as much, you lose. And I, I think that most people are going to regard this as a a set of headphones for. And I mean this in a positive way, as, as uh, for audio muggles, people who are just like, I really, I want, I want headphones that sound good. I want them to be have really good noise noise canceling. I really, I want them to uh, sound really, really great. But I'm um, once once you get into the rarefied era of 500, uh, 550 bucks, yes, there are there are uh, headphones that cost that much and more. But these are for the audio files, and I'm not sure if the audio files are going to think that these headphones yeah. are in their class. Well, 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 it remains to be seen. But I just. Uh, so that's the question: fearful, Is do these yeah. sound five hundred fifty dollars good? Yeah. If they did, I don't Who care knows. about the technology. They've got yeah. to sound. Or do they have that much brand cachet? Like, will people well, not, buy not them just, just to wear them? Well, look at these. Them. I mean, not just these come in five. Go ahead, show the show, John. Yeah, five gorgeous colors. Uh, they they do look a little like a, an Altoids tin. They're a little more rounded. <laughs> Then. Oh, so get this, Leo. The cups were made to exactly match the Air, the iPad Air, and the bands were made to match exactly the iPhone 12, so that they would be, regardless of which one you had, they would match both of and them. And the stem was made to match your Apple Watch. In fact, that could be an Apple Watch on the side right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, they're wired and wireless, so which at least they are, you could plug them in, which I think... W wired sold separately. What? You don't yeah, you even get a, get a you jack. You get a lightning to USB C cord, but if you want you the get, if you want the lightning to US to a 3.5 cord, I think it's like 35 bucks. Oh, that's just <laughs> insulting. No, no charge. Someone either. said 10 bucks for every uh, every millimeter. <laughs> that's just insulting. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, if you're on a high, uh, uh, no one who cares about audio fidelity is going to listen wirelessly. It's a convenience, not not a doesn't yeah. even Aptex. I don't. They don't even do they do Aptex in the iPhone yet. I don't even think they do. They do their own thing. Yeah. They do their own yep. thing. Okay. Yeah. The the only the only thing that I think counteracts that a little bit is that I think a, a, if there are people who regard it not just as an ooh this is the Apple thing this is the uh, I'm an Apple fan I like Apple style there are people that will think of it as not just as a good three hundred dollar pair of headphones but as maybe a two hundred fifty dollar fashion accessory on top of it. Because I think yeah, the, and I think the industrial is. design really bears that out. Look, but, they uh, actually yeah. stitched the L and the R into the fabric of the cup. 
Now, there hmm. was a rumor that a bunch of features got cut, and one of them was that it would be able to automatically detect which, which of year? your ears it was on, and yeah. so it wouldn't matter. Yeah. But it sounds like that was one of the features that got cut. So this the stenciling is quick. What we get. Quick, can you weave an L or an R into the cup? Yeah. Quick. It's, it's <laughs> 2020. Everyone has learned to weave, Leo. They learn sourdough <laughs> and they learn weaving. <laughs> You've got artisanal Brooklyn artisanal weavers making the cups. Uh, I think one of the one of the challenges for Apple that. Um, is, is that uh, you discover it over time if you're a little bit of a power user that there there's a lot that's sort of non-obvious things that these devices do where it isn't really it, it is apples and oranges in a lot of ways. I think the HomePod is a good example of that. Like the I've got an old regular HomePod Prime, um, and it really I got one down here, and it sounds it does sound amazing. And when you hook it up to the TV, um, getting all the you which know, you the can finally stuff, do, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. which you cannot do with the mini. But, but I mean, like, so for example, stuff like I, I may be non obvious to somebody who's just ordering off of Amazon or whatever right. that, like, okay, you're also you're going to get that ability to get like Atmos, quote unquote, through this speaker, yeah, which is a spatial sound. Yeah, um, yeah. But, like, again, the integration with other Apple products. So it's also maybe non obvious that this is now can also be your home kit hub. Right. So the, the value value proposition, what a dumb phrase. The thing that they need to sell to people in some ways and communicate is not just that this thing sounds good, but it works with all your other stuff. And to some extent, some stuff works better with their stuff than other stuff. And that could be a source of frustration because now you're like, okay, is my old phone charger going to work with this new phone? And that sounds silly to us, no. but that drives a lot of people. This will work with your Apple stuff on this, principle. This like is... you said, with not including the cord, there are there are people on in some part of the spectrum who are like very upset about that stuff just on principle. Other people are not, and they'll drop the five hundred bucks because it's going to work well with Siri because they're all in on Siri. But what what Apple Apple is selling you in some ways like a, a, a selling, not always succeeding at, uh, this kind of integrated lifestyle, like your iCloud right. and all, all, everything should work together. But like, I think that's very difficult to communicate to a garden variety consumer. Um, you know, you could just say, well, these are good headphones and they're loud, go buy them. But like, you, if you can't, if you don't know about, let alone then utilize all the things that it can do with the other things. I love my Sony WHXM, whatever the hell they are, but like, they're stupid as hell. They're so dumb. You you can only be like synced to one thing at a time. To resync it, you got to turn it all the way off. Long press. Anybody have these? The WH, the nice Sony ones. Yeah. They're yeah. they're they sound great once they work, but getting them to work is just really not. Bluetooth fun. is a nightmare. So I, I don't I don't like wireless headphones for that reason. You it's can just, also do them wired, but I, I just think that's a big challenge. I, I imagine for Apple is like working across business units with people to try and figure out how we how we sell this to people as part of this bigger thing well, we want you to do. It's even more complicated because they own beats so you have to mm -hmm. make something distinguished from the beats products right uh right. But, but you're not and you're you want to charge 550 bucks but you're not really i don't know if you're really an, i mean these headphones have features every audio audio file looks for for instance as you're listening to music it will read you incoming text messages what more could you <laughs> what more could you want i don't think they're selling this i think you're exactly right yeah, the other they're selling this to a technology uh, f first person who wants high it affinity to, to Apple brand of yeah technology I, person. who wants it's it's like right. when you're in World of Warcraft and you get the uh, the enchanted armor with the enchanted helmet and the enchanted sword you want the whole the, the whole kit and so mm -hmm. I mean sure there are I bet you there are Apple people who have all of the above. I know. I My see it on Reddit. My entire Twitter feed this morning was filled with pre-order pictures. Yeah. They were just one after the I other. I see it on Reddit. The rumor is there's got supposed them all. to be a lower. It's a rumor that there's supposed to be a lower end version of these two. Like, if you think about the Apple Watch without the sport aluminum version, it's too ridiculously priced. Right. When you think about the HomePod now compared to the HomePod Mini, Apple has been fairly good at having that. Like the iPhone 12 versus the Max, the iPhone 11 was way better, uh, you know, received than the the thousand dollar phones. But they just they didn't ship the the sport version at the same time, and I think that's also what bothers people because if they saw this, said, "Yeah, there's a fancy metallic looking one with nice finishes and all this, and that's you know five hundred fifty dollars and do good you for think, you." I'm buying the two hundred fifty dollar one, and I'm happy. Do you think people now still buy AirPods, or with the AirPods Pro in the market? Like, do people look at the AirPods and go, "Yeah, for a hundred bucks more, I'll get the Pro version"? Because it's for kids. I bet for kids. I bet for okay, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, like the other the part of this is, is yeah. I hope this is the stupidest thing that I say today. But another way to look at this is headphones now. 
You know, in a, in a pandemic where people aren't really going places, yeah, you need you need headphones for like think outside of our circle. Actually, right? you Let's want them because your roommates are saying, "Turn the music down." You're living with <laughs> other people. <laughs> I wonder if they feel if like they lucky. can do that price point because the kind of people who are going to buy costly headphones when they don't have anywhere to go much um, might be the people more likely to pay a little yeah, bit more. You wouldn't more. wear I don't these know if on, the, on the train. Sense. You wouldn't wear these on the I bus. I just think about losing Someone stuff. Would take them. I mean, like, or like uh, getting yeah. out of a lift in one of my AirPods with, uh, back in the day, picking my kid up from school. Oh, it's awful. And it just perfectly bounced off my oh, chest down. And here's me. No. <laughs> as, hang on. As the car is driving away, it was perfectly placed for the wheel to go right over it. And like, oh. I don't know, man. I'm forever trying to find stuff I've lost. Oh. I wouldn't want to lose 500. How but many, you know, how how many AirPods have you bought? How many AirPods have you bought? No, I think I bought I mean, like I replaced? four. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Um, it's, just, it's testimony to the fact because Apple sells them onesie twosie. You can buy I really <laughs> like just them one. I like them so much. I, I really know. do. I, we're in the AirPods um, Pro right now. These are, you know what? These are beautiful. I think these actually look really nice. I bet they're very yeah. comfortable. Uh, I, I kind of like a medical appliance. <laughs> like maybe it looks like something like, like when your doctor walks in with that, you're like, oh no, no, oh, no, no, God. no, no, it's, no, it's, it's that time of year again. <laughs> <laughs> the technology and the procedure will begin <laughs> shortly. <laughs> like like that cup. If that cup is made of memory foam, so it'll it'll go. It'll, it tries oh. to seal around your ear to make an acoustic seal, so it can do the computational audio. But if like me, you're wearing glasses and it can't seal. Oh. You know, some of some of the low end is escaping. Oh. It's got a microphone inside to detect what you're hearing. Oh my god! And then god. it will adjust to compensate for any audio leakage that's happening because of glasses or something else that you're wearing. So they're doing. I think they said two. Some ridiculous amount of millions of calculations per second. That's on why the audio you need a device. ten core processor in each ear cup. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, like the other AirPods have the same processor, but they're only using two of the cores, so it's, it scales differently. Does uh, the mic? Do the microphones do anything <laughs> super special? Yeah. So they, I mean, they, they have the, the a bunch of microphones, and normally they'll just react. But they have one microphone that's listening for basic uh, noise cancellation, and then they've added an extra microphone that's listening just for wind, because they found that wind was something that this goes back to the AirPods Pro. Wind was a particular annoyance for people, so they added an extra yeah. microphone I'll, I'll, just to detect and cancel out wind sound. Wind bothers my wife a lot, uh, especially at night. Yeah. She doesn't like that. So <laughs> this is um, this is for who? Should I mean you know what this game this could be a game on the show trick Leo into buying these. This is oh. I mean trick. We just gotta wait. We just gotta wait. A few minutes. <laughs> yeah. I mean the most basic thing, Leo. You need it for your work. <laughs> no 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 no. Um, my work is broke. Try it. Try it. It works, work it works really broke. well. I can't. Yeah. In fact, the reason I can't buy this is because we don't have any money. So that's not gonna work. <laughs> so uh, if you're the really... office secret Santa, and you drew Leo's name. Oh, there you go. No Maybe pressure. I should tell Lisa this is uh, this is what I want for Christmas. Um, so who who is it for? Is that the question? Who's it for? Is is uh, should I get excited about a unique dual neodymium ring magnet motor? Ooh, <laughs> sounds <laughs> good. How that's it's rare earth. That's a rare earth. It's rare earth. It's rare earth. Yeah. It's rare earth. Yeah. You don't know I, how many I, children, barefoot children in Botswana, were involved in the manufacture of this. It could have been, <laughs> you know, that's expensive stuff. Actually, <laughs> did Apple say now that they're getting their rare earths in, 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 economic, in ecologically sustainable ways? I think ways. they're working on, on re, reusing all the reusing rare earths. I don't know how far they've gone, yeah. but yeah, re but re, repurposing, does I think, it, is the does term. It, does it say if it does um, the spatial thing? Yes, I it does spatial. It does. It's spatial. I think it's, that is magic. I mean, there's not much stuff you and, can use it for right now. Like, but I, if I, I were watching Lord Apple of the Rings TV. on the TV and it was, it would give me Atmos in my head? It's different. It's different. Well, so the TV well, is static. It doesn't move. And the AirPods are different because so with the TV, you're sitting in front of the TV and regardless of how you move, you expect it yeah. to come from the TV. But with yeah, the you find yourself doing this it, a lot to test it out, you know, yeah. and do this. But the crazy yeah. part is, so I turned it, I got it. I finally got the firmware update. I was so excited to try this. And you know, something's cool when you go, it's not working, honestly, because at first you go like, oh, it's not working. And, which means it's so subtle, but you do this and you're like, ah, it's a witch. There's a witch in my iPad. What's happening? But it sounds so freaking cool. And it's not, it doesn't feel like a trick. Like with those kinds of things, it's sort of like, you know, uh, 
like when, when 3D movies came out and they, you could get a TV, they mentioned this on the Bike Check podcast recently. It used to be there was like a 3D button where it would simulate 3D yeah. on a non 3D <laughs> film. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's not really the thing. That's you know, That ain't it, Chief. But we put these things in, you're watching a movie, like it's it sounds amazing. And I mean subtle in the best possible way. Have you, You've tried it. Everybody's tried it here? I have not because I don't. Here? I uh, I have AirPods the, Pro, the but big I, difference somewhere <laughs> is what, I can't find them because like if you've got the sensors in the AirPods uh, and you've got them in the device, and so the the gyroscopes and accelerometers communicate with each other, and if you're moving the iPad, like let's say you're watching like this and then you lean back. Your expectation now is that the audio, or you're just moving it sideways, the audio should still come from the person speaking. The center channel should still be the relative, not absolute center channel then. So as you move it around, it is adjusting where the audio is coming from so that it still feels like it's coming from the device you're holding, which just doesn't have to happen on a television set because that's a big static object. And it really messes with your brain at first. And then yes. once your brain locks onto it, that's your new expectation and everything else sounds broken. I, would, I, 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 of course, I, I went into my, my, my fancy 4K movies that I had on an iOS device, and I think I, I was uh, doing Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and it was, it was pretty trippy the first time. So it's yeah. like surround, it gives you surround sound, but they're in your headphones or AirPods. Relative, relative uh, spatial audio, yeah, so relative Atmos, basically. Relative to what? Relative to where you're holding the device and turning your head. So if your head so turns, it, the device stays spatially where it is. Well, who cares about that? Yeah, that 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 was because it really sounds it. like it's in the room with you. It, it really sounds, but like it it's is in the room, room with you. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's like to 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 my my preference is one of the reasons why I put headphones on is so that it doesn't matter like where my head is and where my where I'm turning re relative to the actual device itself. I'll always get like beautiful like standard like balanced separation. So it's it's a it's a wonderful piece of technological magic. But in terms of placing the audio as though it has the illusion of uh, originating from the device is playing from that's not something that i really value you know what stays in place when you move your head around tv speakers vinyl <laughs> how you're gonna say vinyl that, yeah vinyl <laughs> i mean so you're see i thought it was going to simulate a surround system with the left right behind me and up above me and Oh, it yep. does do that. Yep. That, in that addition it's, to that, it's hard to describe its depth. It really, it's. I, I am when you the words you're using remind me of like, oh, it's quadraphonic. It sounds like yeah, it's all yeah, around yeah, you, exactly. and that's true to an extent. But it's just more like it sounds very. It sounds whatever room, the room sound. What do you imagine the room you're watching on TV? That's like what it sounds like, and it it doesn't feel gimmicky to me. I mean, it, obviously everybody's got their own preferences, but I I I, I think it's amazing, and I can't wait. I can't that that alongside like being able to add a second pair of iPods, like when, when like when my kid and I are watching, you know, the kind of media that my wife would just assume we not be watching. Right. It's going to be really cool to get to put those in. And, That's and, what and I watch that. I was thinking yeah. I could pair these to my Apple TV, right, and I could have two sets, yeah. so my wife and I could yeah. both be wearing headphones while we're watching TV. Which is something. But no, 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 no spatial audio on uh, Apple TV yet. But I think that's. Coming. Oh, there. Oh. Really? You only get spatial audio? No, it's only on, on it. iOS it the devices. Atmos. That's the frustrating. It does the Atmos, but not... So this is where people get confused. It does the Atmos, but it doesn't do the the relativistic thing because the TV never moves. So if you just move around, you don't expect the, where the source of the audio to be moving. But if you're watching on your iPad and you move it, uh, it still wants to come from the same position for you. You're not convincing me yet, boys. And it's and it's that try easy it. it's to explain to consumers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't even know that. You know, you know how you wish your TV moved? Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Five hundred bucks. <laughs> how many you want? How many you want? Be honest. You want three? You want three? You're not. You're plus, you lose plus, you, <laughs> plus, you'll be happy to know we're not ruining the environment by giving you a free cable or free charger. You're welcome. This is extremely, extremely rare earth. We recommend that you get one for your desk, one for your house, one for each of your watts, uh, your, your yachts, including the wax yacht. Because you're, you're going to want to have those separately. They'll charge separately. We have a separate charger for that. And then we have a charge adapter that will generate the, the, the feeling of power in a room. That's, that's $35 for the, for the dongle adapter.